what if this putting back to our original iconic graphics, what if we could replace that granola bar with a, a, med, a medical device? So in our traditional graphics uh, supplied by uh, one of our task force members, uh, this is a bedside infusion pump. It's one of the most common and pervasive uh, connected medical technologies in the world. Uh, but no one sits down and just makes one from scratch. Um, this is uh, inherited from third party and open source suppliers and compound parts. This could be open source libraries and platforms like Apache Struts 2 or jQuery or both. It could be industrial IoT connectivity platforms or real-time operating systems. And those two have a supply of individual atomic parts uh, down at the individual level. And these final goods assembled are sold into uh, operational environments in the one through end hospitals. And in point of fact, uh, the very first FDA safety communication purely for cybersecurity reasons was a bedside infusion pump that may allow um, remote uh, exploitation that allow you to empty maybe a three hour dose of a drug in 30 seconds, which could be a fatality. So the supply chain and the security of that supply chain become inc incredibly important in this hyper connected world. So in this, uh, taint can be introduced just like the peanuts, right? Um, perhaps a good library goes bad. There's a known published vulnerability in an individual uh, string input project, which taints the compound part, which then taints the final goods assembled bedside infusion pump. And the three of the five hospitals here deploying that um, could be affected and have denial of patient care, much like we saw with WannaCry or the threats of Urgent 11 and, and other mass attacks. So in this context, hospitals are constantly uh, scurrying when the new attack is announced to answer two simple questions. Am I affected and where am I affected? And through the NTA project, we've heard numerous testimonials of people that had to make dozens of phone calls from their hospital to their various manufacturers of medical equipment and take weeks of response per manufacturer just to answer, am I using this known vulnerable library? And often it may be 20,000 medical devices that they need to narrow down to the 20 or so that are affected, might need to be segmented, isolated, taken offline, patched, et cetera, or taken other compensating controls. So that we believe that the pervasiveness of a full and accurate software bill of materials can aid in a number of use cases. The original uh, that started this whole journey was to be able to answer, am I affected and where am I affected? in seconds versus days, weeks, or even months, uh, so that we can maybe take corrective actions to immunize ourselves in the face of an attack. There are dozens of other graphics like this and use cases in the phase one documentation. I should point out, however, that this infusion pump is not delicious. <laughs> uh, but for uh, the four working groups from NTA phase one, all of their polished and published materials can be found at nta.gov slash SBOM. Phase two has been begun on all four, but in the original collection, you can find uh, this graphic and more in our use cases document, which captures dozens of use cases across that supply chain and within different stakeholders of that supply chain. Uh, there is also a standards uh, and work, working group, a framing document, and even a healthcare proof of concept phase one for your reading enjoyment. Please get involved as well in our phase two efforts and look forward to more videos like this.